Hello and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today we're going to be changing the oil in our four cycle leaf blower. This is a Makita. I've got the model number here, so uh, let me show you that and we'll get started. So here's the Makita, the BHX 2500CA. Again, it's four cycle. Gas and oil are separate. Um, this has been a very good little machine for me. Always starts first or second time. As far as the oil goes, there's a dipstick over here. And let's just take a look at it before we change the oil. Okay, as you can see, it's got plenty of oil, but it's pretty black there. Hasn't been changed in a while. Uh, let's go ahead and put some gas in the blower here. Reason being, I'm going to start. See, it's not supposed to be that hard to put this back. Okay, there we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Uh, since we're draining the oil, to get more oil to drain faster, uh, we're going to go ahead and warm it up. Not get it hot, just warm it up. So I'm going to put a little gas in it, start it up, and uh, then we'll turn it off and we'll drain the oil. I believe it's seven times, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, seven times. So that should be good. All right, I'm just going to take the dipstick here, remove it. Over here, I'm going to turn the uh, unit upside down, let it drain into the funnel until uh, there's no more really coming out. Put this somewhere clean. All right, so it's uh, it's kind of hard to uh, drain it. Um, what happened was I put it back up here. I didn't think I really got that much out. I put the dipstick back in and checked it, and it still had quite a bit of oil all the way up to the first mark here. So as you saw, I drained some more out. Um, just moving it around in different uh, directions, I guess. So. Let's check it again and see if we're good. If not, maybe I'll do it again. I like to get as much as I can out of there. 
So let me show you where we're at now. We're looking pretty good here. Okay, so we're actually right here. So uh, we're going to get a lot of oil in there. So we'll leave the stick out. We're going to turn it up like that to add the oil. All right, so on its side now, ready to add oil. Add it in here, and you can see uh, what they call a shelf there. You want to add it up to that and stop when it starts coming over. Um, another way to, to do this is to take this little rubber deal here. It keeps oil from draining in there. And you'll be able to see the neck. I don't know if we're going to visibly be able to see it, but we want to add oil to right here. If we're looking on the outside, and you can't see that shelf sometimes. Um, so let's turn this like that. All right, let's go ahead and add the oil now. The crankcase is supposed to hold 2.7 ounces, and to get an idea how much that is. If you have a bottle of a, of a two-cycle oil here, and I, this is a pretty standard bottle, this is 2.6 fluid ounces. So about the size of this is what, uh, the, that's how big the crankcase is. Uh, I don't know if we're going to get that much, but I've got some prepared 10W30 here. Uh, there's going to be plenty in here. I think I've got probably, I think this is like a four ounce ball or something. Um, so yeah, I'm going to add into the neck here. Um, if I can't see that, I'll try to look in here, make sure it's not really going over the shelf there. Okay, again, 1030, that's what they recommend. I think we're almost there. We can go a little more. So when I'm tilting it, it's actually going through where the dipstick hole was at. And I'm just watching for it to drain right back onto that shelf so I think we're good there I think we're good right there uh, let's put the dipstick back and let's check it real quick Okay, I'm all the way up here at the top. See oil through each hole. Um, oil wasn't overflowing on the shelf there. So we should be good with this right here. Again, when in doubt, just stop and, and check it. It's not hard to do. So I'm gonna go with that. I'm going to uh, start it up here real quick and uh, it'll be ready to blow. And one thing I forgot to do is to put this rubber cover back in place. So we'll do that real quick. 
and see if it'll start up with the new oil. Uh, let's try to do it without priming. I guess that'll be it, changing the oil in the Makita. 2500. Real easy to do. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a great day. Take care.